Hi, David here of Lancaster Automart A to B, and here we've got a 2010 template Honda Civic Type R. And what we're doing in this video is just showing you around condition of the vehicle and showing you some of the features it came with. So this is after the 2008, well, going into 2009 facelift, so there's a few little bits that are different on this, so I'll explain that as we go. But first thing we'll do is just start with the alloy design at the driver's rear wheel. So as you can see, this one's in really good condition. I think there was a little bit of curbing on the others, but nothing major at all. But I'll go around any sort of wear and tear as we go. <coughs> Pardon me. So down the side of the vehicle, so first place we'll start. Sometimes the lacquer on the spoiler does seem to peel, but on this one, it's absolutely fine, which is always nice to see. So down the side of the vehicle, you can see there's no scratches or dents anywhere, as the floor's being reflected very nicely on that. And the wing mirror cap also completely clear. So then, onto the driver's side front wheel, you can see there's a tiny little bit of curbing at the top, but nothing major whatsoever. And then onto the front. So there's minimal clouding on the headlights, which is always really nice to see there. And that's not a mark on the bonnet, the bird just happens to have got there a few seconds ago, so I do apologise for that. So we do get the nice splitter on the front there with this one. And then onto the passenger side alloy. So again, there's a tiny little bit of curbing, but you really can't tell unless you get very close to this one. And down the side of the vehicle, relatively tidy condition, really. Door handles are in really good condition. Only areas anywhere and tear down here is just a little tiny bit where the paint's come off. But again, it's on a plastic bit of trim, so it's not a major concern. Not gonna cause any rust. And onto the rear wheel. This one again, really good condition there. Just again, a little bit dirt just on the corner there, but that'll come off with no problems whatsoever. So again, back onto the rear. So I'll just take a step back, let you take designing, because it is quite nice from the back. Then we'll just pop the boot open, because the rear seat should still be down, just showing how much space there is. So there's also a bit of underfloor storage, I'll show you that how that works. But inside you can see absolutely bags of room if you need to get something in the back. And the way the boot floor works is what you can do is just lift it up and drop it down. And there you go. And if you do want to access underneath, you've just got a little handle. You just pick it up and you've got a load of space there. And if you're wondering where the spare wheel is, there's an inflation kit just behind there. So we'll just move into the rear now, just show what that's like. just going to go in from the passenger side so that it allows me to get back in on the driver's side so first we'll just push that chair up so you have got the red and black design there so again you can see how much space there is straight through the back there and you can still get a passenger in so it's 60 40 split so if you needed to you could just about oh i always forget there's no middle seat in these so no you only have one passenger seat either side if you do want the back seats down but again it is a three-door car so at least it gives you the options but most people will find something a little bit bigger if they have to move in things all the time i think everybody knows why you'd be looking at a civic type r it's not necessarily to be a load lugger so we'll just move on into the driver's side now where the interior sort of continues with the red and black theme the lovely alcantara seats so as you get in you get the engine start button just there you've also got your electric windows as you get in and if you can just see through there your vehicle stability assist off there so one of the differences with the facelift model you do get headlight washers on this one we'll just start the engine as well just so you know it starts nice and healthily no surprise from the civic type r engine they're known for their reliability so they are sitting around 1000 rpm exactly what you'd expect and the mileage 85914. So onto features inside then. So you do get cruise control and that's all on this bit here. You've then got your trip computer accessed via these buttons here. Then got all your radio controls over here. So that's your mode. That's whether you're in FM, long wave, medium wave. That's sort of all deals with all your audio controls. Then got automatic lights, automatic wipers. I've got dual zone climate control so as you can see passenger side set to 18 drivers to 20 if you want them on the same you just turn dual off and there you go they're both on 20 again 
So you've also got your D-misters just up here, so that's your front, and there's your rear and side mirrors. And again, everything else is very simply sort of explained. So you've got off, you've got auto, and you've got, you can individually adjust the fan speed or the temperature. So really straightforward. Over onto the radio. So again, really straightforward again. You've got your CD, AUX, and USB in this model. And that'll be that button in the center. Then got your volume and your on and off button. And then once again, everything's fairly self-explanatory in here. Then you get onto the center console area. So you've got a fairly large storage area in here. You say large, little, it's a smallish storage area, but it's a bit deeper than you expect. So it's quite handy, that one. Then got a nice manual six-speed gearbox. Really short throws with the round metallic sort of gear stick. So really pleasant to use. You've then got 12 volt power outlet just behind that. You do have an ashtray. Again, doesn't look like it's ever been used as one. So again, mini storage little area. You've got two cup holders just under there. Then you've got a nice center armrest and this is where you connect as a found. So you've got USB input just there. You've got 12 volt power outlet there. And then you've got your aux input there. So again, these are things that were added with the facelift as you didn't get either on the previous. It wasn't previous generation, but the pre-facelift, you didn't get the aux input or the USB. So again, something that was added with the facelift. Really nice little feature there. And then the last little thing to cover, you've got a nice large glove box just in there. And your controls for the passenger temp just over on the sort of door handle. So if there is anything I've not covered in this video, or there is any extra info you want, don't hesitate to get in contact and we'll see what we can do to help. Thanks. Take care. Bye.